Oh, we were? Okay. So this is Chris from NTH again, still here in Dan's shop. We just shot a couple of videos, one of the Seiko NH35 showing the um, click spring being engaged when the, uh, the watch is being wound. And then we shot a video of an STP showing the mechanism uh, going with the crown in the opposite, counterclockwise, non-winding direction. Now we've got a Miyota 9015. Dan, being the uh, gizmo-oriented guy that he is, insisted that I, I take a look at this. So this is the same mechanism we just looked at in the Seiko. Um, what you're seeing here through this hole uh, is that same click spring mechanism. So that thin wire at the top is the spring uh, that keeps that lever engaged with the gear teeth, which you can just make out um, through this hole. And Dan was saying that the reason you don't hear it as much with the Miyota is that there are more teeth in this gear, so there's less uh, motion and less clicking noise because it's it's more, it's like a finer movement. Very fine. Yeah, very fine movement. Um, and, and he's really a big fan of these Miyota movements. You guys have heard me talk about them, but they're just so slick in so many ways. The way they're engineered is very elegant. Um, you know, we've talked about the auto winding mechanism. It's a unidirectional rotor, which some people don't like, especially when they hear the rotor spinning in the non-winding direction. But as Dan's explained it to me, with the Eddas and all the other bi-directional winders, there's what he's called a dead spot, where basically whenever the rotor changes direction, there's about 30 to 40 degrees where there's just nothing happening. There's no winding happening because the, the, the mechanism has to take up the slack in the gear train before it starts winding. Whereas with the Miyota, yeah, it'll free spin in the non-winding direction, but as soon as it goes back in the winding direction, it's immediately winding. So that's what helps make it a very efficient winder, despite the fact that it's only unidirectional. So this is the Miyota 9015. Dan's throwing the rotor in front of the, the camera there for a second. So this again, same mechanism we just showed you for the Seiko. This uh, mechanism keeps the mainspring from unwinding as the watch is being wound. This keeps the gear only going in one direction. And it's a very elegant design, very slick, not as loud as the Seiko, uh, and I guess maybe not as loud as some other movements. Very smooth, very, very smooth, quiet. Very quiet. So no better look no at the No crunching. Miyota. Yeah, no crunching. Better look at the Miyota 9015. Thank you, Dan.